Uh, so what's going on there folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this April 11th, 2020, 10.55 a.m. AM, West Coast time. And earthquake activity on the ramp up this morning in Southern California. They had a 5.2 magnitude earthquake strike near the Long Valley Super Volcano. Uh, that's that large circle there, right around central central part of the state there, uh, just to the northeast of Mammoth Lakes. Uh, now this area right here is definitely known for uh, volcanic activity, as well as earthquake activity. Uh, the activity that we're seeing right now is uh, interesting because we're kind of getting a pretty good sized swarm of activity following that 5.2. Uh, there was a 4.6 aftershock that struck in roughly in that same area uh, following that 5.2. So the magnitudes are uh, <clears throat> getting a little on the interesting side here. Let's go ahead and bring up the flat scale model uh, so we can get a little bit better view. This here is the one day all magnitude earthquake map from the USGS showing uh, the specific earthquake activity out there near Mono Lake. Uh, I remember flying over that area a couple years ago on my way out to Texas and uh, interesting uh, features they have um, on the ground there that you can see in the air uh, domes and uh, old uh, uh, areas of uh, past eruptions there uh, anyway the 5.2 earthquake that struck is uh, roughly over here to the east of Mono Lake a little bit we'll get to that other small red circle down there uh, in just a moment there a little bit of significance on that as well. The 5.2 earthquake struck down here, um, roughly within this area of um, swarming, kind of spread out pretty far. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Mono Lake, like I mentioned, is over here to the west, roughly about, oh, let's see if I can, I'm guessing maybe less than about 10 miles, 15 miles at the most. Long Valley Super Volcano is this feature down here in the center screen you can see all these fault systems here long valley fault zone um hidden creek fault zone all this area over here is the the caldera of the long valley super volcano this earthquake that just struck a little bit ago a 4.1 is a pretty good sized quake outside of the swarming that we're seeing following that 5.2 uh, that struck earlier this morning this is something to watch here. If we start seeing uh, more earthquake activity right around the caldera area of Long Valley Super Volcano, then that's something to uh, um, be investigating, I guess. It, or it might be something to keep an eye on, I should say, when it comes to volcanic activity because it's still active down there. This earthquake activity, though, like I said, is uh, about 10 miles east of Mono Lake and from Long Valley Super Volcano we're looking at maybe oh, 20 miles or so 25 miles to the uh, north northeast of Long Valley Super Volcano uh, what's really puzzling is there's no identifiable fractures or uh, oh, what's it, fault systems there we go <laughs> I'll get it fault systems out here that I can see um, I mean, the nearest ones are a bunch of unnamed fault systems up here. Uh, unnamed fault in southwestern um, these mountain ranges up here. Kind of looks like that's where it's at least heading towards. Um, not a huge fault. I'm not even 100% sure about the activity on these specific fault systems. I can't find any information when it comes to those. And like I said, right underneath this activity here I'm not seeing any specifically named fault system or anything shown up here on the map uh, that the USGS puts up I'm, now I'm not saying there isn't any there it's just not included in their normal um, list of fault zones out there rather interesting uh, I got granite mountain down here granite right what's, what's associated with granite uh, right pretty much right at the uh, I guess outside of the park area of granite um, <clears throat> granite mountain there um, kind of up in the mountains let's go ahead and see what's going on on the satellite scale here get a little bit better view 
Let's check out the U.S. hazards real quick. Of course, Southern California is going to be uh, well within that. Hold on a second here. It doesn't want to do that. So, okay, we'll do it this way. Mono Lake, very visible on the satellite picture here. That uh, green pond. Kind of looks like a pond. It's actually a pretty good sized lake out there in the desert. Probably at one point a little bit bigger. This lake may have been uh, much bigger, at least looking at the uh, geographical features out here. Of course, Long Valley Super Volcano, like I mentioned, sits down here where all the red fracture systems are, the red fracture lines, the in indicating the caldera area. Uh, directly underneath this activity, we're seeing. Uh, let's see here. I'm not really seeing any identifiable, identifiable, <laughs> identifiable features here. Uh, well, I guess you know. I'll take that back here. You guys can see those little domes right there, right? Little volcanic buttes, if you will. Hot spot of activity, no doubt. Uh, not directly on these buttes or on these little domes here, which I'm sure are volcanic. But uh, these are within, uh, man, pretty close. Within about, uh, oh man, about 2,000 feet of, of the buttes here. Even this little red circle here, getting pretty close to there. But uh, you know, not 100% sure if this is um, strictly tectonic plates here at work uh, creating these earthquakes, or if there's in, indeed. Um, something volcanic associated with it looking at the depths of these earthquakes here uh, varying from pretty much near surface uh, the 4.6 aftershock was seven kilometers below surface the main shaker the 5.2 uh, which they listed at 30 kilometers southeast of Bodie California was at about eight kilometers below surface uh, looking at these other aftershocks, so you can see they vary. You know, they go up and down one to one to two kilometers, three kilometers, um, seven kilometers. There, uh, it's interesting. Something to watch here as this uh, activity is taking place here in the Long Valley area. Here's a little bit of information on that uh, specific area. Let me see if I can get rid of the uh, transparency there. Um, yeah, a little bit of information from the USGS folks on their uh, hazard program there for Long Valley Super Volcano. Um, you see that there on the map here. It's a uh, uh, a little bit of summary on this, just in case most people don't know, or, or just in case a few folks don't know out there. I'm go over the uh, the info that they have here. It's a 20 by 10 kilometer uh, caldera, Long Valley caldera, east of the Central Sierra Nevada range. Uh, this thing formed as a result of a volcanic Bishop Tuff eruption, considered a super eruption about 760,000 years ago. Uh, resurgent doming in the central part of the caldera occurred shortly afterwards. Uh, let's see here. Uh, a lot of information, folks, on this. I'm not going to go in and read all this here. Caldera remains thermally active with many hot springs and has had significant deformation, seismic, and other unrest in recent years. A robust geothermal system inside the caldera fuels some type of power plant out there which generates enough for 40,000 homes threat potential they list this as very high uh, most recent eruption looks to be about 16 to 17,000 years ago interesting right very very interesting there um, How likely is a volcanic? How likely is volcanic activity in Long Valley area? 
Based on the frequency of eruptions along the uh, area here, past 5,000 years. What do we got here? 1980, they had a pretty good shaker down there. I believe it was a 6.2 magnitude earthquake there. Uh, I think I have that information. Kind of watching the uh, data. The, uh, ooh, what do we got here? Let me go back over here to the uh, live stream. I was just looking here on my end. Uh, earthquake popping up there. Idaho. We got one popping off in Idaho. This is definitely a localized quake there in Idaho, but also had a pretty good sized shaker there in Mammoth Lakes as well, showing up on this station here prior to that, uh, prior to the Idaho quake there. A lot of activity occurring underneath the western part of the United States. Uh, Yellowstone National Park right here, picking up that uh, Idaho quake. And another quake coming into Mammoth Lakes. A really active earthquake activity, folks, today. Going to have to keep an eye on this thing very closely. Um, something brewing out there uh, underneath the western part of the states there. It has been ever since uh, that uh, Reno earthquake, act or the earthquake activity near Carson City a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago. Uh, that led to earthquake activity in Salt Lake City where they had the pretty good shaker there that did some damage there shortly afterwards. And then uh, the earthquake activity in Idaho followed that uh, Salt Lake City earthquake. Um, so roughly uh, we're seeing a pattern here of some, uh, some unrest underneath the western part of the states here. The question is, what's, what's next? Uh, getting back over here to the... Uh, activity here real quick uh, the Inyo eruption in 1350 uh, oh man about 600 years ago anyway folks uh, where did the other one go oh here it is the 6.2 I was just talking about there in the Mammoth Lakes region um, you know just just because we're seeing this earthquake activity does not mean the Long Valley Super Volcano is going to blow or it's getting ready to blow. They've had a significantly, you know, large earthquakes in the past and many, many significant earthquake swarms in the past as well. So um, I'll be keeping an eye on the activity. Also, uh, it's a good thing. I'll probably check out the emissions and whatnot, uh, CO2 levels, and uh, see what's going on over there. I don't think it's volcanic, but, uh, you know, earthquake activity around, in and around the super volcano could trigger something. You just never know. Could get the magma flowing down there, or it could open a, a channel, so to speak. Uh, just something to keep an eye on. 6.2 magnitude earthquake there 40 years ago in the Long Valley Mammoth Lakes area. That one struck at about, uh, oh, it was about, what, 15 kilometers or 17 kilometers east northeast of Mammoth Lakes here. So just south of the activity that we're currently seeing there today. Let's go ahead and uh, pop this up a little. Yeah, so roughly just south of here is where that 6.2 struck, uh, like, like I mentioned 40 years ago. So large quakes can and will take place here um, in the coming who knows, days, future, definitely going to happen. Uh, just want to go back over here. And I have not had my caffeine. And it's it's definitely showing 2.5 and above right there. I'll cut out some of the uh, clutter. You can see uh, I'm going to have to watch this. If this extends down into, into the Long Valley area, um, like I mentioned, that's going to be a a surprise if it does but we'll keep an eye on it let's go back up to idaho where that uh, quake showed up on the seismograph station here uh, let's see here. i 
I don't believe I don't believe that that 2.6 is what we've seen on the seismograph stations there I believe it's much bigger uh, especially for it to show up on Yellowstone unless uh, what we've seen was a oh there we go so now it updated okay <clears throat> that was a 4.3 that struck um, there on the data which will no doubt show up on Yellowstone looks like a small little earthquake over there close to Yellowstone as well 2.6 um, wow up here in Montana that's gonna be interesting here looks like a 3.6 occurred there as well unless this is a uh, a echo effect from the 4.3 being picked up on the seismograph stations here we'll have to keep an, uh, keep an eye on it uh, I don't know if it's been reviewed or not but uh, you know a larger quake will sometimes trigger a, uh, a seismograph far away thinking that uh, making it think that there was a localized earthquake there but uh, Wow, I mean, it's just very interesting earthquake activity today, folks. I'm going to be uh, monitoring it and providing updates uh, should they be uh, warranted. But uh, for right now, I think I'm going to get me some caffeine, try to wake up a little bit, and uh, and then we'll go from there. So I'll be here off and on on the Earthquake Live 3D stream monitoring, monitoring stuff here. Our earthquake activity on the globe is the past 24 hours of earthquake activity. 2.5 and above data coming in uh, you can see it's been pretty active just over the last 24 hours uh, not only underneath the western part of the United States which is a clutter of quakes folks I mean when was the last time you've seen something like that on the earthquake 3d globe it's been um, and we could go back the past couple days and it will just create even a mess I mean it's just something's brewing out there um, could it have something to do with Cascadia subduction zone? Yes, it could. We could definitely see uh, more activity in these areas that are not really shown activity here. Uh, Cascadia has been relatively quiet there. A little small quake 3.0 off the coast there a couple days ago. But uh, yeah, it's something to watch here. Uh, definitely today. I'll keep an eye on that region. Bring it back down. to the last 24 hours there and uh anyway yeah we'll uh talk get you guys here on the live stream once i get some some caffeine in my system good lord all right i'll chat you then